In this demo video, I'll show you how to automate the creation of hundreds of short videos using N8N. First, let's see the final result. The normal internet we use has a hidden internet beneath it, which is called the dark web. Here are three interesting facts. The dark web has 75,000 terabytes of data. Two million users connect to the dark web daily using the Tor browser. 60% of the information on the dark web can be very harmful to businesses. In one day, $500 billion are exchanged on the dark web. To create these videos, you'll add ideas to a Google Sheet, triggering a workflow that generates scripts and videos automatically. The workflow starts with a Google Sheet trigger node, which monitors a Google Sheet for new ideas. You enter your video ideas in the Ideas column, and the node activates when a new row is added. Let's walk through setting up this automation. First, connect your Google account. In the Google Sheet trigger node, click Credentials, then Create New Credentials. Select Sign in with Google, Choose the account where your Google Sheet is stored and click Continue. In the node settings, select your document from the drop down. It auto loads all your Google Sheets. Choose the sheet and set the trigger to row added or updated to detect new or modified ideas. Next, I use a function node to filter ideas based on their status. Here's the code. It checks if the status column equals processing. If true, the idea passes to the next node. If it's ready, processed, or complete, the idea is filtered out. This ensures only ideas ready for processing proceed. Now I use an HTTP request node to call an AI-powered research engine, like Tavily, to gather relevant information for the idea. Set the method to post and enter the service's URL. In the body, use JSON format. To configure this, you need an API key from the research engine. To get the API key, open your research engine's website, such as Tavily.com. On the home page, click Get Started and Log In. After logging in, go to the API section, create a new key, and name it something like Video Research. Copy the generated API key and paste it into the HTTP request node's parameters. For the query, drag and drop the idea field from the Google Sheet node. Set search depth to advanced for in-depth results, including raw content, and limit max results to three. The HTTP request node's output is often messy and not automation friendly. To clean it, I use a code node with a script that extracts useful data for script creation and formats it neatly. This cleaned data feeds into a Google Gemini node to generate a video script. In the node, change the trigger from connect chat trigger to define below. Write a prompt like, you are an expert short form video script writer, specializing in engaging attention grabbing content for platforms like YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels. Generate a concise, compelling script based on the provided data. In the node settings, click the input box, select user, and set it to text. Choose the cleaned data from the previous node to ensure the script uses only your researched data, not random topics. I recommend using Claude or ChatGPT instead of Gemini for better script quality, but Gemini works for this demo. The script output needs additional fields to update the Google Sheet. I use a merge node to combine the script with the original idea and status. In the merge node, select Combine by Position. Set number of inputs to two script and idea data and configure it to output both. The merge node's output isn't fully compatible with the Google Sheet update node, so I add another code node to format it. This script structures the data with fields for idea, script, and approval status to match the Google Sheet's columns. In the Google Sheet update node, set the operation to update row. Select the same document and sheet as before. 
For column to match on, choose idea to update the correct row. Drag and drop the idea, script, and approval status fields from the code node into the corresponding columns. A wait node pauses the workflow, giving you time to review or edit the script. I set it to 20 seconds, but you can adjust it to 1 to 3 minutes. If you like the script, manually set the approval status to approved in the Google Sheet. If not, set it to rejected or edit the script directly. Another Google Sheet node checks the approval status. Set it to get operation, select the same document and sheet, and retrieve the latest row. An if node then evaluates the status. If approved, the script passes to the video creation node. If rejected, the workflow stops. To configure the if node, drag the approval status field, drop it in the condition, and set it to equal approved. This ensures only approved scripts proceed. For video creation, I use an HTTP request node to call HeyGen's API. Set the method to post and get the URL from HeyGen's documentation. Search HeyGen API documentation, find the create video endpoint, and copy the URL. To get the key, navigate to Settings, then API Keys, and copy your key. Paste it into the header's authorization field. For the request body, use JSON from HeyGen's documentation under the Create Video Endpoint. You need two parameters, Avatar ID and Voice ID. In HeyGen, go to Avatars, select one, and copy its ID. Paste it into the body. For the voice, go to Voices, choose one, and copy its ID. For the input text, drag and drop the script from the previous node. Video creation takes up to 8 minutes. The node outputs a video ID when complete. To check the video status, add another HTTP request node with a different HeyGen URL from the documentation's Get Video Status endpoint. Set this node to Post, enable Send Query Parameters, and add the video ID as a parameter. Name it and drag the ID from the previous node. This returns the video's URL when ready. To download the video, use a final HTTP request node. Paste the video URL from the status node into the URL field. Set the method to get. The output lets you view the video in N8N or download it to your device. That's it. This workflow automates short video creation from idea to video. The template will be in the description. You can download it for free or tip any amount to support my channel. Try it out and let me know your questions in the comments.